Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth tutorial of Matplotlib. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss some basic line properties in our plotting. So today, we will discuss about line width and line style. Now, let's go ahead, go back to the, our uh, Matplotlib tutorial here. And here we can see that there are two types of parameters defined here. One is line style and one is line width. Now, the default for line style is solid. So it's always a straight line, but we can also use some other line style as mentioned here. So first let's go ahead and use these in our code. So here after marker face color, I can say line style and let's say dashed, right? There is a line style called dashed and basically I think we can also use this for a, a dashed uh, line style. Uh, let's uh, check out both of them. So first I will go ahead and say dashed and let's run this code. So here you can see now instead of a straight uh, one full line we have dashed line in our plot. Right? Now let's see what if instead of dashed we put dash like this. So two hyphens uh, together. So again we get the same kind of result. So basically you can use uh, either uh, write the whole word by itself or you can use the character uh, denotion of that line style property in your code. Let's go ahead and check some others. So there is something called as dash dot here. I think this is this is it. That's the character denotion. So here I can go and instead of this I can say dash dot. Let's go ahead and check how the plot looks now. So yeah, and our plot looks like this. There's a dash, there's a dot. So this is basically what line style does to our plot. Sometimes it can be very useful in visualizing the kind of data that you want to visualize. Now let's go ahead and play with the line width, right? So here I can pass in another parameter called line width and let's just go ahead and give it a value of five. Now you, you should always give pass values to line width uh, parameter as an integer or a float right if we go back to the uh, tutorial here so it says float value in point so I think it will also allow us integer so let's go ahead and run this so now you can see the line width of our plot has increased so basically you can increase and decrease the line width line style of your plots uh, based on your requirements you know these properties will come in very handy when you are visualizing a huge amount of data using pandas or csv library or directly from the database and it will help you distinctify between different kinds of data so thank you guys i hope you learned something in this tutorial if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and share these videos with your friends i'll see you in the next tutorial